Puffy or Nectar? Which mattress should you choose? Hey guys, it's Martin here from Mattress Clarity, and today we're talking about just that. We're gonna take a look at both these mattresses, their construction, my experience with both, and help you choose one over the other. Let's get started. First off, if you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com. They're going to find some great reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Puffy and the Nectar. But let's start off by talking about the similarities between these two mattresses. First off, they are both very popular online mattresses with great customer service terms. They both feature memory foam somewhere in their construction, they both feature a very similar base foam, and last but not least, they have a very similar price. And now let's talk about the differences between these two mattresses. First off, the Nectar is thicker than the Puffy. They have a different material in their transition layer. Also, speaking of firmness, we found the Nectar to be softer than the Puffy. And in terms of feel, we thought the Puffy had more of a balanced foam feel. The Nectar had more of a classic memory foam feel. And now let's talk about the construction of both these mattresses, starting on top and then working our way down. First off, speaking of the cover on the Puffy mattress, a thin, breathable cover won't affect the overall feel of the mattress too much. Now moving over to the Nectar mattress on top, a tensile cover, great with breathability and cooling as well. Moving down to the comfort layers on the Puffy mattress on top, a layer of slow moving memory foam. It also features a gel infusion. It's gonna help this top layer not trap quite so much heat. Now below that, you're gonna have a transition layer. It's firmer and more responsive than the top layer of memory foam. Moving over to the Nectar in terms of comfort layers on top, also gel memory foam on top, very slow moving. And below that, some high core memory foam. It's a little bit denser, a little bit firmer, but still has that slow moving memory foam feel. Now moving down to the support layers on both mattresses, a similar base support foam. So what does all that mean? Well. Pretty similar constructions between these two mattresses, but the main difference is going to be in the transition layer. So with the Puffy mattress, more of a responsive kind of bouncy layer, over in the Nectar, more of a slow moving memory foam layer. So it's gonna affect the overall feel of both mattresses. Speaking of durability, probably going to be close between the Puffy and the Nectar. Pretty similar constructions with both mattresses. They both feature some nice durable materials, however, should last for at least seven years. Last but not least, speaking of cooling, they're all foam mattresses, they feature memory foam, they are going to trap some heat. But both the Puffy and the Nectar feature gel infusions and breathable covers to make sure they don't trap so much heat. And now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought the Puffy was close to a seven out of 10, a little bit firmer than average. The Nectar was closer to a six and a half out of 10, about medium in terms of firmness. I do wanna note though that I am a larger person. I'm 250 pounds, so I'm gonna press further into these mattresses than a lighter person might, so a lighter person might find both mattresses to be softer than I did. On the other hand, if you're larger than me, over 250 pounds, you might press in even further and find both mattresses to be firmer than I did. But again, for me, a seven and a six and a half. Now, speaking of feel, the Puffy has more of a responsive, balanced foam feel overall. Now, the top plate rendering foam is kind of slow moving, but below that, you have a more responsive transition layer. So overall, more of a balanced foam feel makes it easy to move around on the mattress. However, moving over to the Nectar, it has more of a slow moving memory foam feel overall. On top, two layers of memory foam, so it has more of that slow moving feel, not as easy to move around on the Nectar. So now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on both these mattresses. Starting off on the Puffy mattress on my back, a very good balance of comfort and support, hip sink in the right amount, so good lumbar support and good overall support. So overall, good for back sleeping. Moving to my side though, I'm feeling some serious pressure on my shoulders and my hips. I'm definitely sinking too far into this mattress. Again, I think if you're lighter, you might get better pressure relief than I did on the Puffy. Moving to my stomach at the same time, not quite supportive enough for someone of my weight. I'm definitely bowing in the hips and getting out of alignment. Moving over to the Nectar mattress on my back, also a very good balance of comfort and support. My hips sink in, not too far, good lumbar support, excellent contouring as well. Moving to my side, I'm feeling better pressure relief than I felt over on the Puffy. That being said, it's still a little bit too firm for me when I'm on my side. Again, I'm a larger person. If you're lighter than me, you're gonna feel better pressure relief on the Nectar than I did. Moving to my stomach though, even softer than the Puffy, so getting less support under my hips. I actually felt better stomach sleeping on the Puffy than the Nectar. 
Here at Matt is clear to like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure, all the way up to red for high pressure. So let's pull up the side sweeping results for both these mattresses. We have the puffy on the left and the nectar on the right. Now pay close attention to my shoulders and my hips. If you sleep with a partner, there's two things you do want to think about. That's motion transfer and edge support. Now motion transfer means if you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side, are you going to feel that motion or not? Now edge support means if you're sitting or lying down at the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more going to roll off and onto the floor? Now, first off, speaking of motion transfer, I would give the advantage to the Nectar mattress. You're gonna have two layers of memory foam right on top, really absorbing a lot of that motion. So handles motion transfer better than the Puffy. Also, speaking of edge support, I definitely feel more secure sitting and lying under the edge of the Nectar. So overall, better edge support with the Nectar. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Which one of these mattresses should you get? In terms of who should get the Puffy, definitely a better option for stomach sleepers between the two mattresses. Being a firmer, more supportive mattress overall, you're going to get better support under your hips, stomach sleeping on the Puffy. Also in general, if you just prefer a firmer mattress, something a little bit firmer than average to give you more support overall, you just like the feeling of a firmer mattress, take a look at the Puffy. Last but not least, speaking of feel, it's also the better option for those who prefer more of a balanced foam feel. There's a little bit of that memory foam feel right on top, but overall more of a balanced responsive foam feel. Makes it much easier to move around on the Puffy. In terms of who should get the Nectar, I think between the two, a better option for side sleepers. It is softer than the Puffy, offers better pressure relief specifically on your shoulders and your hips. It's also a better option for those who just prefer something a little bit softer. The Nectar is softer than the Puffy, so if you want something a little bit more give, the Nectar is definitely a better option for you. And last but not least, again, speaking of feel, if you prefer more of a slow moving memory foam feel, you lie down on your mattress, you slowly sink in, it's definitely what you get with the Nectar. So the Puffy and Nectar are bed in a box mattresses. They're going to come to your house in a cardboard box. So how do you unbox them? Well, it's really easy if you follow these simple instructions. First off, ask a friend for help. These mattresses are quite heavy. You don't want to strain yourself moving this inside. Then with their help, move the mattress into your bedroom, open the top of the box, take out your rolled up mattress. Then place this on your frame or foundation and slowly carefully cut through the layers of plastic. You don't want to damage your brand new mattress. Then clear away that plastic, all the packing materials, give the mattress about 24 to 48 hours to completely off gas and expand and you're good to go. At this point, you should know which mattress is right for you. But if you're still a little bit confused or want a personal recommendation, just leave a comment below. Well, that's about it. If you started looking for a mattress for bedding, head over to mattressclary.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. So hit the like button and subscribe.